the 22nd quarter of revenue decline in a row. When can IBM break this cycle? I think that it's getting close to turning the quarter, but not turning the quarter yet. I'd say sometime in 2018 is probably when it's going to actually start to grow revenues again. One of the positives is about 45% of its revenues are coming from its strategic initiatives, and that grew about 10%. If it could just push that up to maybe 12, 15% growth, and if it can bump that up, that'll be what it takes to move it towards uh, growing revenues again. So what sector do you expect that growth to come from? Is it the cloud? I mean, cloud revenue was up 20% year over year. It's going to come primarily from software. Software clearly is IBM's most mm -hmm. profitable section sector. It's been growing a lot. Interestingly, though, its analytics were only up about 5%. Its big growth actually came in uh, security, up 50%. Remember, for IBM, IBM doesn't do simple. IBM does complex. And so it has a slow cycle of getting companies to buy its complex solutions. And I think it's trying to turn the corner now and getting enough clients willing to engage with it on those complex solutions. We'll start to see that software growth plus its services growth really maybe kick over to positive territory, as I said, sometime in 2018. IBM had a bit of a halo thanks to Buffett's endorsement, but Berkshire Hathaway is no longer the largest shareholder in IPM. How does that impact the company? I think that Buffett obviously does provide a, that's where I say, a, a, a positive glow on things. I'm not sure how that's going to play with investors, though. I think certainly investors have been patient but a little bit tired. They're really looking not so much for what other investors are doing, they're looking for what is the company actually going to do in terms of generating that revenue growth. And I, I think it's getting close. It's not quite there yet. Watson and blockchain are two bets that IBM is making on the future. When will these bets pay off and how big will they actually be? Both will take a while. Blockchain in particular is probably four, maybe four or five years from really starting to gain real traction. There's some niche benefits from it, but not really driving. Watson, I think, is more of a halo that they're using to wrap around a lot of things. Watson has a lot of complexity to it, and it's hard to implement uh, or in a lot of categories. That's why I said it works best with large companies who are willing to take the time to help Watson get trained to tackle their complex prob uh, problems that they have. I don't know if I, Watson knows it's going to be necessarily the key generator of revenue growth. It's going to be a core factor. But a lot of the AI technology is going to end up being sold as kind of middleware to other companies as opposed to real revenue generator itself. And I think that's going to be the, the secret for IBM. How can it turn the Watson technologies into technologies that other companies then use and embed in their products? And that's going to be the revenue growth, I think, for Watson.